Hi, my name is Councillor Freya Bledsoe and I am a Town Councillor for the Oldcastle Ward in Bridgend Town Council area. Um, I have been a councillor now for a number of years. Firstly, I was co-opted onto the council. Um, that was a few years before what we called the end of term, which was um, a term is five years that you get elected onto. So I was um, co-opted onto Bridgend Town Council for Old Castle Ward. Um, I think it was 18 months before the end of term. And then I restood for election in May 2017 and I won um, my seat back again. I saw that there were various things that were happening in my ward area and I thought it was time that I stood up for my community. Um, I had a shop at the time and I'd seen the distress that um, a number of people were going through um, locally to where I was living because I was living over the shop at the time and um, I just decided it was time. It was time to be accountable, it was time to represent so I stood up and I do my best for my community, for my area, and hopefully um, I do a decent job. I like the fact that um, when you're a councillor, you can actually get things done. So I like the fact that if somebody comes to me with a problem, I know the pathways now and I know how to get things changed, how to get things um, rolling in the community. So for example, recently we had some storm drains that were absolutely clogged up and there was flooding everywhere. And I had constituents coming to me saying, what can we do? Help us out, which I did. I went to um, the main borough council and I went to the highways department and I asked them if they would kindly come down and clean the drains out, which they did. And it's those sort of little things that we do constantly that make a big difference to people's lives. Um, you know, people were getting splashed by the puddles at by the college and things when they were walking to the college. So it makes a big difference, but it's only tiny things that we do, but they all add up. So that's what I really like about being a councillor, the fact that you can affect change in your locality if you want to. And it's positive change. That's what we need more of, positive change. So as a councillor, I um, have managed to achieve quite a few things that are little wins, but they make a big difference in the area. So things like um, our play parks, they were looking in a very sorry state and managed to get those um, changed out for new equipment in there and for new ropes that weren't going to damage little hands and things like that. Um, I've also been able to achieve um, different things when I've been on committees. So I've been lucky enough to sit on the planning committee, on the regeneration committee, and um, in those committees you get work done left right and center so in the planning committee we've named streets and named them appropriately which obviously is quite important at the moment with the black lives matter movement so we've been able to consider those look at the history of the area decide whether they should be bilingual as well which is massively important to me i do believe in bilingualism um, so yes we've been able to make these changes and that's what i've been able to achieve as a councillor good positive sound changes for our community As I say, I've sat on the Regeneration Committee as well, which has been a real honour, actually, to see our town start its regeneration process, because for so long it's been neglected, so long it's been battered down. As a trader formerly in this town, um, I know full well the pressure points that uh, traders have in this town, that visitors have in this town, that people who use the town on a daily basis have seen. So, um, one of the things that um, I've been able to do is sit on the Regeneration Committee and we're starting to see the fruits of that work come through now to benefit our town. And it's not just the town centre either, which is the great thing about Bridgend Town Council, we cover quite a wide area. So one of the things that I have personally achieved um, and that I want to see come to fruition is on the Regeneration Committee, I put forward the idea for reverse vending machines, which they are um, machines that you put your um, empty plastic bottles into and they go in for recycling and recycling is a massive massive issue in our borough and in our wards so um, these machines you pop the um, 
uh, plastics in, you get a token back which you can spend in shops, which in turn regenerates our town centre as well. Um, they will stop littering, they will stop fly tipping, it's an instant win because people will not want to throw away their rubbish or dump it in country lanes when it's plastics and things because they get money back for it. Why would you want to throw that away? That's good money back in your pocket. It also helps the traders in the town because they then get the footfall back through where people come to spend in their shops with the, the money that they're garnering from the um, machines. You can have them as tokens as well. There's all different formats that you can have. But these work really well on the continent and I've seen them in action in Holland, in France, in Spain, in Italy and they work fantastically there. They've seen massive reductions in their fly tipping and that's what we want to see for our borough and that's what I'm hoping to achieve. I've been pressing for this now for nearly three years and um, it keeps getting knocked back. There are certain individuals that don't want it and um, you know they'd rather see other schemes in place which is fine that's how democracy works but I keep plugging away and pressing away and finally we've got it passed through on the regeneration committee and um, that means that it will be going ahead. So for me that is a massive win, that's a massive achievement that um, I'm going to be leaving as a legacy and I'm very proud of that and hopefully it's something that will really make a difference to people's lives in Bridge End. I think the thing that has surprised me the most is the um, vitriol, quite frankly, that you get if you stand up for your community. There's um, some nasty politicking that goes on, I'll be honest, in um, third tier level, which is what a town council is, very nasty politicking, which when I've worked in the Senate, as I have, I haven't seen that at higher tier level politics, which you would, you'd assume that's where it would be, you know, divisive politics like that. But that is the one thing that has surprised me the most. Um, I think it's disappointing though as well. I really do think it's disappointing because I joined the town council with the intention and you know I stood again, I re-stood again um, with the intention of doing good things for my community. It was that simple. Um, but then to have to put up CCTV cameras because you've got people braying on your door, um, you know, to have to hide your address, your telephone numbers, your contact numbers, things like that, because of security issues that you've had, um, because you get private messages calling you all sorts of names under the sun, particularly nasty ones are, you know, um, quite, you know, horrible to be honest and it's not something that you would expect that you're going to be subjected to so um for me that was the most surprising element of it um would i do it again i think i probably would you know um irrespective of individuals who um stalk you are abusive to you um you know things like that I would stand up for my community again, um, simply because you get so much back from it. You know, you get so much satisfaction back from it, from seeing somebody that's um, come to you with a problem and being able to help them, that far outweighs the, the bad elements of it. And, you know, I will be honest, there are good and bad on this. Um, certainly as a female, it's quite intimidating sometimes being on the council and being shouted at by big burly men, but you know, you put your big girl pants on, don't you? Um, and yeah, I think about my constituents. I think about them first and foremost and what I'm there for and what I'm there to do. So I just crack on with it now. Um, it was very intimidating to start with, but not anymore not anymore. So for me that was the most surprising element actually, the vitriol and the nastiness that comes with just standing up for your community. You do have to have a very thick skin and you do have to be um, quite aware that that is going to happen because it's not going to change anytime soon. So that's me.